we are learning to use split strategy. Watch the warm up video to get your brains thinking. Hi boys and girls, we're going to be looking at split strategy today for addition and subtraction. So keep an eye peeled for how you do split strategy. The split strategy is an addition or subtraction strategy in which you split the tens and the ones and then add and subtract them separately before combining them back together to find the total. Look at the example just below this to see how you do it. So we've got 14 plus 13. So we split them into the tens. As you can see, we've got two tens lines and that equals 20. And then we've split our ones. So we've got four ones and three ones. Just like from our 14, we've got taken our four ones from that and popped it there. And 13, we've taken our three ones and popped it there. Now we can add the numbers that we got, so 20 and 7, separately. And that gives us our answer of 27. Here's another example. So we've got 11 and 17. We're going to split up our 10s. So we've got 10 and 10 for 11 and 17. And that equals 20. And then we've got our 1 and 7. So that's our ones. So we're going to add them separately. So we've got 20 and 8. And then we're going to add them separately, those numbers. And that gives us our total of 28. Instead of adding just 11 and 17, which can sometimes be a bit, little bit tricky, we're breaking it up to bring it back together. It's really important that we show our working out to show that we are thinking with our number facts. Here we've got another one. We've got 15 and 23. So this time we've got 10 and then 20 at the bottom. So we're breaking up the tens into the groups again. And that equals 30. Same again, we've broken our ones off. So we've got five ones and then three ones and we've added them together and that equals eight. Then we add them all together and we've got our answer of 38. So we're breaking apart to pull back together. So we're splitting up our numbers again, but this time, this is how we're going to do it in our activity today. So we've got 17 plus 12. So we're going to do what we just did before and split our 10s up first. So we've got 10 and 10 equals 20. Then we're going to take our 1, so 7 and 2. So 7 plus 2 is 9. Then we're going to work out what 20 plus 9 is. And that's quite easy to do together. So we can add the 20 plus 9 is 29. All right, last one. So we've got 25 plus 13. We're going to take our 10s like we just did before. So 20 from the 25 and 10 from the 13. So 20 plus 10 equals 30. And then the same with the ones. We're going to take the 5 and the 3. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. So you can clearly see that we've got 30 plus 8 equals 38. All right, now it's your turn. I'm going to get you to pause the video here and have a go at doing these ones by yourselves. See if you can show your working by splitting up the sum and then adding it back together.
Here we've got some other ones to have a go at. Make sure you use the split strategy and show all your working out. Pause the video here to have a go at these ones as well. These are your last ones. Have a try at these ones as well.